welcome back everyone. Pioneer Square is a historical building in Ishpeming and over the years it's been used for many different reasons. Recently it's been transformed into a multi-use space for artists and painters to display their works. Now this morning Ashley Kirkland is live at the Pioneer Square to show us what they've got coming up. Good morning Ashley. Good morning, Vicki. That's right. We're here at Pioneer Square, which is most famously known as the Gossard Building. But this building itself has been in downtown Ishpeming since 1878. And so it's been it's had multiple purposes since then. But like I said, it's been most famously known as the Gossard Building. And as you can see here, next year they are looking to transform it back to the Gossard Building. This is a picture of the old Gossard Building that used to be in place and what the use was for. And now this is a, a picture of, of what they hope for the building to be in the future starting next year. Now right now this building is a multi-use space building for artists, local business owners who set up here and actually just sell their their items here and they also have a special event coming up tomorrow from 4 to 8 p.m. which is the Christmas City Sidewalk event and we're going to talk to the owners of the building, the current owners of the building next to talk a little bit more about that event and what people can expect when they come out. Just a little preview of what you can see when you come down to the Pioneer Square is some pottery here. This is a, a um, one of the stores that is here in the uh, Pioneer Square building where you can come and shop and just find local things from the locally made artists uh, here at the Pioneer Square building. It really is a beautiful building, beautiful hardwood floors and they're all ready for Christmas as they, as they have it decorated here with Christmas trees and ornaments and everything. But we'll be back a little bit later, Vicki, like I said, to talk more about the event and what they have going on here. Back to you for now, Ashley Kirkland reporting live in Ishpeming, TV6 News. Uh Welcome back. December means the Christmas gift giving season is in the air out there and we're going to be joining Ashley Kirkland at the Pioneer Square to find out more about what they've got coming up for you. Ashley. Good morning, Vicki. That's right. We're back here at Pioneer Square in Ishpeming. Now, this entire building is filled with different shops and spaces for local artists and business owners. And right now, I'm standing in the Nook and Cranny, which is a local business filled with artistry from a local artist that I'm going to join right now to tell me a little bit more about what they have here. Right now, I am with uh, Renee Mashad, who is the owner of this building and also a local artist. Renee, thank you for being here. This is a lovely building uh, space that you have here. Can you tell us a little bit more about the art? work that you do? Well, I'm a collagist by trade, and so what's on the wall is a series of my different collages. And then joining them um, are some of my local visiting artists. So we're all mingled together. And so not only do we have the collages, but we have Dr. Mark Himes' wood-turned work behind us. We have his wife Renee's Nuno Felting. Um, I work in silk and jewelry as well. But there's other artists here that work in watercolor. Um, Martha Fotopoulos mm -hmm. is here um, with some of her cards and some of her prints. Jane Laddick is here with some of her watercolor. So it's a real community type right. of space. And so people can be assured that this is all local art that they would be purchasing and Absolutely. seeing here. Absolutely, yes. Um, we're all, I think the farthest we go is Marquette right, here, <laughs> right now in here, Marquette West. Um, and uh, we're a big part of the, um, the scene in Marquette County with the Lake um, Superior Art Association, as well as what we have happening down here on the west end of the county. Okay. And how long have you been in this location, to be exact? I've been here at um, this particular um, building for just over two years now. Had a little bit smaller studio, then came downstairs, was larger. That allowed me to have my visiting artist program. It allows me to teach now in the community. So it really opened up a lot more um, advantages as an artist downstairs. Right. And I understand since you did move from upstairs to here, this has been an evolving studio. And you guys, is, this is actually an active studio where you actually make Correct. the art, right? Right. This is a working studio, which means that while I might be giving lessons or you might want to come in and buy a, a silk piece or a piece of um, wood turned art, I'm working in the back. So while I might have posted hours Tuesdays and Wednesdays, 10 to 5, I'm often here working. So you can just stop in by happy stance and have a <laughs> cup of tea. 
Awesome. Well, it definitely is a great location to come have a cup of tea and enjoy the artwork. And also, if you come down to the event tomorrow from 4 to 8 p.m., which is the Christmas City Sidewalk at Pioneer Square, you can visit the Nook and Cranny, which is right after you come in and walk, turn around the corner, you'll see it right there on your right-hand side. And it's, also, it's just a great place to visit. It's a lot of neat artwork down here. I'll take it back to you in the studio for now, Vicki. Ashley Kirkland reporting live in Ishpeming, TV6 News. Uh